In today's video, we'll take a look at the difference between definition and declaration of a function. Previously, we looked at variables, the video you can check up top, uh, and now we'll take a look at functions and how you can declare and define functions. We'll start with a simple example of a function. Let's say we have here void print val, and this print val function will just take a, let's say, an x variable and it will print it to the screen and say percent d backslash n x and that's all it's gonna do and I can for example call it here and we can say print val let's say 15 and of course if I try to gcc compile it main c let's go main and then run it I'm gonna get 15 on the screen now the question here is whether print val is defined or declared I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to think about that If you answer that it's both defined and declared, again, yes, you are right. Print val here is both defined and declared. Now, let's take a look at the differences between them all. Um, I'm going to start again with the declaration. So this is the declaration of a function. Now, similarly to variables, the declaration of a function is what you need when using that function. So I'm going to note this down is what you need when using the function. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Uh, now let's think about what we actually need when we are using the function. And by using, in this specific case, I'm talking about calling the function or really taking a function pointer from it. That's another case. But we're going to focus on this, just calling a function as it's a simple example. So when, if we focus at the main function and disregard what we have here, we have to realize that, well, first, we need to know the name of the function, which makes sense, I guess. If I type in here, um, I don't know, show val, it's, of course, it's not going to work, and I cannot use it that way. Um, so print val is what we need here. Then we're going to also need the parameters that this function accepts. In my case, I have just one parameter, and it's of type integer, right? It's just an int, and we pass it along. If we had multiple variables, it, you would have to still pass them along here, okay? So that's the second thing that we need when declaring for the declaration of the function. And the third and last thing we need is the return uh, type. Because, well, what stops me from doing something like, I don't know, let's say int y equals print val. Well, the, uh, the return type actually stops me from doing this. It says, well, it's going to give me an error because, of course, uh, the function doesn't return anything. It returns a void type, so this is not allowed. If it were to return an integer, then it would be fine. If I save this, it's going to be okay. If it's a character, we might get some, uh, uh, some warnings that we are casting a character to an integer, but that's about it. Okay. So these are the three things that represent the declaration of a function, right? The name, the parameters, parameters, and their type, types, I guess, and the return type. Not the return value, just the return type of that function. And that's all you need whenever you're trying to call that function. And I hope this makes sense. Now onto the definition, let say here definition, and as I said before, uh, in, the, in the previous video, it is what you need whenever you're trying to execute the code that calls that function or uses that function in some way. So I'm going to say here what you need when executing the program, okay? And well, let's think about this for a second, what do you need? when executing the program that is not already in the declaration, right? Because uh, let's say the, the program starts executing and we are here at print val. What, what does the program actually do when you're executing it? Well, if you ever use the debugger, you'll notice that if you uh, step into the function, it will jump the execution. The execution would jump to the function's body, right? The code that represents what the function should do with the input parameters and how it should return them. Exactly. That's what uh, 
the definition is for a function, the body of the function, the actual source code that represents what the function should do. Okay, and I'll say here functions body plus, of course, the declaration of that function. So that would mean the name, the parameters, and the return type. Now, uh, how can I just declare a function? Since the definition does include the declaration, that means I can just declare the function. Well, true, that is something that you can do, and you do it by simply uh, specifying just the signature of the function. What's the signature? It's simple. It's this tuple here, the name, the parameters, and the return type. This, this thing at the top that you always have to write before uh, defining your function. This is the signature. This is declaring the function print val so that the the source file that you're into knows that it exists, right? And it takes in a parameter of type int and it returns nothing. Now, the important part here is, well, now we can call the function our code, but of course, if I again try to compile this, it's not going to work. It's going to give me the same exact error saying that it's an undefined reference to print val which of course it's not defined because the program your program just doesn't know what to do with this function you didn't give it any you know any uh, lines of code that it should execute right so this is something that you should do and what you can do is you can add them here at the end let's see let's add this printf back that i deleted and there we go now everything should run perfectly fine. So if I try to compile this and run it, it's going to give my my 15 back. But you might be surprised to find out that we didn't get any errors here because we have declared the function twice, right? We declared it here in the beginning of the source file and then a second time uh, here while also defining it. So we have defined it once, that's perfectly fine, but we have declared it to, twice. And it's an important thing to note. You can declare a function as many times as you'd like it doesn't matter once the compiler knows it exists it's fine but you can only define it once and once you have to define it because it kind of makes sense right um if you have two functions that are considered the same function but have two different function bodies right they have two different sets of lines of code that it's trying to execute <laughs> what should the program do right so, of course, it makes sense that you can only define it once. So, if I try to um, define it again here, so here's uh, defining this print val function again. Let's try to compile it. You will notice that I do get an error saying that uh, we are redefining print val, something that we cannot do in C. Again, notice the redefinition term it doesn't say redeclaration it says redefinition and that's what it actually means that we do indeed have to de define it twice here even though it does in our mind do the same thing it might as well do something else you know it, it could have multiple printfs and we would still get an error now again this whole declaration and definition and never is really useless when it comes to one source file almost useless it does come in handy in certain versions of the C compiler, but uh, in a modern one, it's not really gonna make a difference. But when it comes to multi-file projects, this is actually gonna be very, very, very useful. So if I try to move, for example, this definition to a different file, let's bring back my global.c file here where I left the index from the last video. If I move this print val function from here to the to the global.c file and leave the main.c with just the declaration, well, again, if I try to compile just main.c on its own, it's going to give me the same error as it did before, right? It's an undefined reference to print val. But if I compile both main.c and global.c, I'm going to get a warning here because I forgot to actually include stdio in global.c. Since uh, this function actually uses printf, it needs stdio. So I'm going to just copy and paste it in there. And now if I try to, uh, let's clear here and try to compile it again, you'll notice no warnings, no nothing. If I try to execute it, I'm going to get 15 printed on the screen. So this is indeed 
how you can actually have a set of functions in one file and use it all throughout your project in multiple other files okay this is how you can basically keep your project a bit more clean rather than putting everything in the same file as that would be quite tedious and difficult to do now you might ask well cool but shouldn't we use hashtag include in this case because we are actually just just using a function from another file like you know we do we do with stdio and all the other libraries yes but in a later video we'll take a look at why you shouldn't actually use hashtag include on our global.c file here right uh, if i try to do this and simply uh, let's compile just main.c dash o main you will notice it actually does work but uh, you'll see later on why you shouldn't do this. For now, I hope you got something out of this video. If you do have any questions, leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server. And of course, the source code can be found at the link down in the description below to our website. Take care. Bye.